We knew that Tegan was a hypoplastic, hypoplastic left heart syndrome case. Um, she was diagnosed in utero around 20 weeks. So we had spent the last um, 18 weeks of the pregnancy preparing for the coming days and the surgeries that we knew that Tegan was going to be having within days of her birth. After she was born, they discovered that she had a little less than half a heart and only one lung and it was all that criteria that basically deemed her inoperable. There was a lady that had came around and was like, hey, have you guys gotten all the pictures you wanted with her? Because, you know, as soon as we start removing the tubes from her, you know, it could be in a couple hours, it could be, you know, a week or it could be a month. She was going to die and that was, that was devastating. We didn't fully stopped crying until we took her home and had a few days at home with her and we saw her still living, she was doing well. It was probably closer to that 45 day period where we were at where we were really thinking we should start, you know, looking outside uh, and trying to get second opinions. My sister had done some research on the internet and found, you know, Nicholas Children's Hospital. Tegan's family contacted our heart program for a second opinion. So when we discuss things as a group, uh, we often can really work through it in detail and come up with a very creative or innovative plan to help someone like Tegan. One of the solutions that we thought would really help us in trying to fix Tegan's heart was virtual reality modeling. And one of the things we used was Google Cardboard virtual reality technology. So this is something really, really amazing where you can take this image here on our phone and you actually put this into this really clever device made out of cardboard and plastic where your phone basically goes into your viewer like this. And then when you look through the cardboard, you're immersed in a virtual reality world of her heart. I expected something very low, you know, low resolution. And I looked and it was just beautiful. I was just struck by the level of detail and the fact that I could see her heart from any angle. I could see what I would encounter in the operating room. When she came out and she was before us was a very, very, exciting moment. It was very emotional because we had this little baby that was told that she was inoperable and here she had just made it through a very long grueling surgery and at the time she was she was looking you know pretty well considering what she'd been through. She has not only a fighting spirit, but she is a spirit that is just full of love. She, she loves life, she loves people. She's, she is the epitome of a fighter. I like to look at the physical space above our operating table. Sometimes I'll look at it when the operation's done and I'll think literally thousands of babies' lives have been saved right in this space. It's a, a special thing. First time she went home from the hospital, uh, she went home to wait to die. And this time when she went home, she went home to live. And uh, I think that's an amazing story.